is ice cold because of all the ice, so my feet are freezing. I don't think this place has seen so much water for quite a while, probably. Silence and solitude. This is something I often crave and absolutely need. And this is also one of the reasons I like to escape the small towns from time to time. Sutherland is a small town in the Northern Cape province of South Africa, located nearly 400 kilometers from Cape Town. It is most famous for its clear skies and bright stars. It boasts some of the clearest skies in the world. The reason why the stars are so bright here is because of its height above sea level and its lack of pollution. This is also the reason why it is so cold here in winter. In fact, on average, Sutherland is considered to be the coldest town in South Africa. Okay, so uh, this is the start of the next vlog, going to Sunderland with Andre and Paul. This is Andre. I'll not be going, I'll be going to the He just, <laughs> they're picking me up now and we are going to Sutherland. So next time you see me, we will be in Sutherland. Okay, we're on our way to Sutherland and this is the, the, the road crew. adventure so we just arrived in Sutherland driving into town it's very small point we have arrived at Paul's and Andre's place very quiet, a nice change from the hectic few days in Cape Town and then the Stanford party. Now we're just looking for the key. This is a man from Malawi, he represents, represents Malawi. Also a wonderful place. Here we are, Sutherland, Sunday afternoon, I think it's Sunday. After a few days of heavy partying, and uh, drinking, indulging. Now we're here in the Northern Cape. Sutherland is in the Northern Cape province of South Africa. It's a quiet little town. As you can see, see it's still dirt road, dust roads. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be here because I need to rest. I'm here for the silence and uh, lack of people. After being in Cape, in Cape Town for more than a month, I, I really am going to appreciate the lack of activity so we're just taking a walk through town and checking things out uh, I'm a bit brain dead so I'm stumbling over my words and I'm not gonna talk a lot but this is the first day Sutherland day one small town life what can I tell you about Sutherland there's not that much um, Sutherland is well known for its high elevation and clear and dark nights. Some of the clearest and darkest nights in the world apparently and that's why there is observatories here. So you can come here to do stargazing on the wonderful dark nights where the stars are shiny and maybe you will get to meet aliens, who knows. This will be a good place to meet extraterrestrial beings. I haven't met any yet, but maybe 
this will be the time for me to meet some. I don't know. Uh, this will be the best place probably in Africa to, to see flying objects in space. Um, yeah, so it's really, really cold in winter here. Cock cold. I was here like many years ago. I don't know, like 20 years ago. I uh, stayed here in a combi in the graveyard. It's nice to be back. It's amazingly broad streets. So there's a bit of a tar road here now. There is a bit of activity in the main road. Not much. There's a few cars. And what I like to do, obviously, the first thing is to get the place of the cold beers. Because, uh, yeah, I need to take the edges off once again. So I'm going to see if I can not find a little... Apparently, there are a few bars here. I see this is the hotel, Sutherland Hotel. It looks closed. I was hoping there would be some action in the Sutherland Hotel bar, but it seems to be closed. What do we have here? Space and Astronomy Full Dome Digital Theater. So it's all about stars and space and stuff, and I am a freak for space. I'm a fan of Elon Musk wanting to take people to Mars and people want to, to uh, make it happen that humankind explores the universe. I love sci-fi movies. I'm into everything spicy. I like the idea of extra extraterrestrials visiting Earth and other planets with more life. And yeah, anything to do with outer space, that's my thing. One of my things, I love it. So this is my type of town, town that is all about stargazing and looking far into the universe. Hello, can I uh, ask you something on camera, please? Uh, I actually got a bar. Is there a bar on the opposite? No bars. No bars. No bars on Sunday. All closed. Shabin? Only restaurants or theater. Shabin? Only restaurants. Hotel bar open? Yeah. Which one? That one? Yes, uh, uh, that is open. Is no, you one? can go in. Oh, you can open. open. Okay, cool. Thanks. The ladies told me the hotel looks closed, but you can go in. So let's just walk in there and maybe we get somebody at the bar counter that can serve us beer. I don't know. Uh, yeah, voices. Yeah, I don't think I can handle that scene now, it's too noisy. I don't like in the camera, you get that often in small towns, people just don't like the camera. And uh, I, feel, I don't feel like that vibe now. Actually, I should stop drinking for a while, I should just sober up and eat healthy for a while. Uh, but uh, let's take a, a bit more of a walk down the main road to see what else we find. Maybe there's something else open. This seems to be another bar or hotel kind of place here. Uh, let's check this place out. The White House Inn. It says residence only. But it also says yes, we are open. Oh, It's another barn, it seems to be open. Right. Hello, can I be off near me, brother? Yeah. It says I can take some video. Yeah, so this is like the other side of town, which is like 300 meters away from the other hotel, and it's a totally different vibe. It's a bit quieter here. I'm actually quite broke as well, so I think this will be one of my last bar beers, but uh, let's have one to welcome ourselves into town. I usually actually prefer the more lively bars like on the other side, but I'm just too tired today to handle it, so I'm just going to have one cold one here. Have an early night and uh, let's take it from there. We'll see what happens tomorrow.
So the parrot's name is Neville, it's Neville the Bar Parrot and apparently he will bite you if you get too close. He's a noisy little fucker. Look at that. Oh, Neville, no, don't do it, don't do it. Stay away, motherfucker. Look at that. So my first hour in Sutherland and uh, I just met uh, a few locals and I met Simon here in the bar, he's very shy. <laughs> but he said he's doing a tour to SALT. What is SALT exactly? Southern African Lost Telescope, the biggest optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, thank you for the tour tomorrow morning. So he's taking a tour tomorrow morning. He says he claims it's not going to cost me anything because I spent all my money on booze over the weekend. <laughs> but uh, that is why you come to Sutherland is to do this. So I'm here, I've only been here for an hour. And already Simon offered me a tour of salt. Uh, that's why you come to Sutherland. So behind the scenes tour. I just and it's a behind the scenes tour. So I think uh, somebody, some some kind of universal god is looking after me on this one. Eh? Alien galleries out of out of bounds. I can't say the alien gallery. So I'm here to fucking. Technical, technical I'm, I'm here to find the aliens, man. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna go on a tour. It's a nice sunny morning. And I'm on my way to meet Simon and other people to do the tour of the observatory or SALT. So that is what that is happening today. And that is what Sutherland is all about, the stars, observing the stars. I'm supposed to meet the other people here. I don't know anybody. In front of the hotel 1030, I hope I have my timing right. So then we're going to do this tour, let's see. What's the time now? Close. So here I am in front of the hotel at the Mars Bar waiting for a party. I'm a bit early for the tour group and I want to see if it's going to happen, if anybody's going to pitch up. Let's see. So Simon told me to be here at half past ten. I was here at quarter past ten. And Simon just told me they left at ten o'clock. So Simon you gave him the wrong time, my friend. I'm just hoping there will be another tour at some point because I'm here for a few weeks, but I'm sure there will be. Anyway, so that didn't happen. I'm just ordering some breakfast. There's a little stall here on the edge of town. I'm a bit pissed off that I missed the tour, but there will be another one. So yeah, they're making some nice, what they call in Afrikaans, rooster bread or bread. They make on a fire with sausage and all kinds of things. And this is the lady making it on the fire. Hello. Hello. Sausage and chicken. And you're the owner. I'm, I'm uh, Libby's husband. Okay. Good. Good, Looks good. Smells good. Great stuff. It's Libby's. Libby is the boss lady. She's on Yama yeah. Mobile. Oh, suppose I have to order. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Hello, Libby. Hi there. So this is Libby. Hello. The stall. Hello, everybody. Tell Come. me about your stall. Well, we're in Sutherland in the Northern Cape. It's called Libby's Cheese and Yama. I do a street pie, so I do a chicken borki that we call in Karua. I do meat. I do lovely roasted brood with some boars inside with the um, curry bunnies as well. So come and visit us. We would love to have you here and come and enjoy our Karua hospitality. Cool, and I want to order a, a, a Boerewors thing, a roll of Boerewors tomato, is that cool? That's absolutely cool, I will make you a rooster brood, it's called a rooster brood Boerewors roll with tomato sauce. So Libby just made me taste the sauce and there's a lot of sauce on here and I have this beard, so this is going to be messy. But it looks like a good sausage, a good bread and a... An amazing sauce already tasted. Mm. Bread is amazing. It's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside and totally fresh. It's a good sausage and the sauce is also really good. A bit messy though. Hey, 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 
Hail in December in Sutherland in the Norman Cape. It's a good time to have whiskey. And it's something very rare and something very special. So nature gave us a, a nice show just now. And it lasted quite a while. Check it out. because of all the ice so my feet are freezing I don't think this place has seen so much water for quite a while probably it's quite amazing look at the cars look at the cars driving through the water in the street come swim Mickey 